Here's an example of a solid color fill adjustment layer being used to change the color of the entire layer. I chose a green fill layer and then used the hue layer blending mode to make the green blend with the original image color. If you want to take it one step further, you can lower the opacity on the adjustment layer to allow some of the original pink image to show through, creating a third variation of the same original pink flower image. Let's jump over to Photoshop and make our first adjustment layer together. I've gone to the Open Graphic Arts website and downloaded a few sample images. It really doesn't matter which ones you choose as long as you have some images to play around with. I'm going to show you how to create a new solid color fill adjustment layer to either change the color of the background of an image or to change the overall color of the image. And then we will experiment with layer blending modes and lowering the opacity to create an additional effect beyond what we can do with just the base layer. And so the first thing that I need to do is have an image open. And if we take a look at the layers panel, uh, you can apply an adjustment layer to a background layer even though it's locked. Uh, for good practices, I always like to convert it to be a regular layer in case I want to do additional editing. To apply an adjustment layer, you would select the little black and white circle. I like to call it the little black and white cookie. And for the first example, we'll go ahead and apply a solid color adjustment layer. Whatever layer is selected, your adjustment layer is going to pop right above it and affect the layers below it unless there is a solid layer that's going to block it from the rest, if that makes sense. And so the layer zero that I have right now is a solid layer. There's no holes in it. So it doesn't matter if I have any pictures below that. The, the images or the layers below layer zero would not be affected because layer zero is solid. So when we choose solid color, uh, you will get a prompt that will say, well, what color do you want it to be? I'll go ahead and just leave it at the default or whatever color I used last for my last demo, which is purple. If you want to, you can choose whatever color you want and select OK. And so when you take a look at this, you think to yourself, well, that didn't really do me a lot of good because now I can't see the flowers. And so one of the first things you might want to do is use the solid fill color or the color fill layer, adjustment layer, to change the color of the image. And that's where our layer blending modes come into play. And so with the color fill layer selected, if we choose the normal drop down, which is our layer blending modes, you can choose different options that will affect how the color, in my case purple, um, interacts the layer below it. If you want to change the overall color like I did in the example, you would choose the hue option towards the bottom of the drop down, and then you would make a purple image. And you can click through and see what the difference between color, I kind of like color better, and hue would do. You can experiment with subtract and divide and just see what your different options are but in our case we'll just use it to change the hue. One thing you can do if you don't like how drastic the change is, you can always lower the opacity on your either opacity or your fill slider, it really doesn't matter which one you choose, um, and you can basically blend your color back into the original. And so now I'm kind of getting like a washed out purpley uh, tint of the original, and maybe that's what I need for my project. Uh, you could lower it a lot or just a little bit until you get the combination that you want for your project. The benefit of the adjustment layer is that you can always edit it. So if you decide, let's put this back up to 100. If you decide that you do not want a purple layer, you can double click your adjustment and change the slider until you get the color that you do want. And so you can go with a really intense color. You can choose blue, uh, green, yellow until you find the color that works for whatever you need for your project. Let's take a look at this image here. So I have an image of, uh, I want to call it a statue, but I know it's not a statue. Let's call it a cup. And so I have this um, statue cup that I would like to change the background of. And so in order to use a solid fill layer, and so if we go to our layers panel, I can select the new adjustment layer and choose solid color. We can choose the color we want it to be. Maybe we want it to be a nice bright orange color. It doesn't do me any good if I create the adjustment layer above the background layer. And so the first step to making it the background is to move it below the background on the layers panel. But because the background layer is locked, you must double click, convert it to be a regular layer. And now you can drag and drop your layers just like we learned in a previous lesson. And you can reposition the orange layer below the image with the cup. But until we start to remove pixels in layer zero, we won't be able to see it. 
And so one option is to use destructive editing. If we come over to our tools panel, you can find the eraser tool. And I've got a nice big brush here. If I start to erase on layer zero, it'll create a hole through my image so that I'm seeing through to the orange background. And I guess I could do this to remove the background of the image. It just keeps, oh. When I go backwards, there we go. Um, but a better way to do this would be to make a selection. And so if I use the quick selection tool, I'm going to use my left bracket to make my cursor a lot smaller. I can try to grab the cup, which is the area I want to keep. I really like the quick selection tool. I think it does a really good job. And then once you get down to the bottom and you have some flyaways, maybe you switch to your polygonal lasso tool. I'm going to use the option key to get rid of the part of the selection that I don't want. If I was taking my time, I would zoom in on this. And I'll hold shift to get this part over here. And we'll call that a day. And so now if I wanted to, I could create a layer mask on layer zero. And whatever I have selected will remain and whatever I do not have selected will disappear. Um, I would want to refine this selection, and so maybe on the layer mask, I would grab a paintbrush and the color black, and I'm gonna add a softness to the brush and kind of try to paint away the parts I don't want to see. Maybe too soft of an edge there. Um, but that is a way to change the background of the image. And so what you'd want to do is you want to make and refine your selection. And then if you remove the background, you can put a solid fill color below it. You can even apply any of the top three options to create a background. You can do a gradient or even a pattern. But we'll cover that in the next video.